Shit. There. Is it working? Hey guys, Boldzoid here. Um, I'm recording off of my phone right now because uh, this is sort of sudden. And I am, I'm super, super, super excited, okay? Um, holy freaking crap. Um, so I'll show you why I'm so excited. Do you see this Hor horrendous monstrosity? Now I do understand I'm using a phone here, so this is gonna be a little difficult. That's an e-power hanging off of my uh, Palette GTX 570. And uh, freaking the, the awesome part is look, it boots Windows. Is that the right mouse? No, that's this sort of mouse. It boots freaking Windows. It boots. It freaking boots. Like this is this, this is huge for me, okay? Because I've done an e-power mod before. Uh, I, I fucked it up horrend hor horrendously. Um, I did it on a GTX 590. I, I I dripped solder all over the PCIe gold fingers. I I fucked up the voltage controllers. The car just wouldn't chooch, refused to freaking fire up. And now holy freaking crap! Right, I, I do it. This, this is the second time I'm doing this, and and it works. <laughs> Oh my god, it freaking works! Uh, yeah, so, for, for those of you who don't know what an e-power mod is, basically this horrendous monstrosity right here, this right here, this red PCB, this is an e-power. This is basically a 14-phase external VRM. Exactly, basically the identical VRM to what you would find on an EVGA classified card. So EVGA is super cool, uh, they sell this thing, this is freaking awesome, they're like one of the only company, they're, no, they are the only company to sell e-powers, which is like, huge. It's like, I don't really got a lot of respect for EVGA except for the e-powers and like the Kingpin cards. Everything else I think they're complete trash, but freaking, oh, <laughs> holy crap it works! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, no, th this this is just like, yeah. So basically, the reason why this exists is a lot of, you know, NVIDIA cards have a really weak VRM and you can't get a custom PCB version of it. So EVGA, and uh, the phone's running out of battery, but still, we'll, we'll finish this. And EVGA, because they know that this is a problem and they want to get those world records on like Titans and Titan XPs, which have notoriously crap PCBs, right? Well, they invented the e-power, so you can actually strap an e-power to just about anything. And here I strapped it to a 570, because honestly, let's be honest, I wouldn't want to do something... That, that, like, this is a really difficult mod. Okay, this is one of... I, I you know, this is straight up, I'm gonna say it right now, this is the hardest type of, like, GPU mod you can do. Okay, because you're completely... it's not just tweaking... Uh, you know, the sense line of the voltage controller, you are literally bypassing the entire VRM of the GPU and replacing it with uh, with an e-power. And in the process, you also have to keep the other VRMs on the card still working. You need to keep your memory VRM working. You need to bypass the safety because VRM controllers, if you bypass them, they complain a lot. So there's actually like, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll make a proper video in the future. This is just like, it works, it works, it works. Oh my God, you know? and. Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah. 20... I keep covering the camera, sorry guys, but... Holy freaking crap. It works! Yes! So, yeah, uh... Uh, I guess we'll live stream a session on this crazy contraption now. Uh, I still need to connect a few more power lines on there. Hopefully I won't manage to break it by doing that. So, if... if actually, I'll show... And no. No, we'll do a full video on, on the... on the card. This is just sort of a teaser. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, see you guys, uh, next time, and, uh, how do I turn this off? Let's try this one.